What's up guys? In the last video I talked a bit about how I became a caster and what exactly I did back in the days then when we still had like only audio streams and no video streams. A lot of people actually ask me, they, hey, did you ever consider becoming maybe a pro gamer instead of a caster? And I actually did. It was quite a long time ago though, it was back in Warcraft 3, I had my own team back then and it was actually like a pretty decent player, but it was also back in the days when we had Reign of Chaos, so that was before the add-on came, uh, came out, the Frozen Throne, and back then I won still a couple of tournaments, rather small ones, the biggest one that I ever won was I think one with 128 players, which was pretty cool back then actually, I didn't even realize that I reached the finals, they had a very weird tournament system and I just like got my next opponent every time then I defeated one, and I had a pretty epic battle with a guy that was called AIP in from Alien Invasion, which was one of the top teams back then. And I didn't, couldn't even believe that I was able to beat him. But then I reached apparently the finals and I didn't really know that I was in the finals. Just all of a sudden there was like thousands of people joining the lobby and I was just like, what exactly is going on? Like, why are there so many people here? And my opponent actually told me, well, this is the final. We are getting broadcasted right now. There's an audio stream. And I just started laughing because I had absolutely no idea. The funny thing is that the final was actually easier than the semi-final where I had to fight that Alien Invasion guy. But it was pretty, pretty epic. And I a lot of fun there. It was ages ago though, but that was the time when I really thought, should I maybe invest a bit more time into trying to become a professional gamer? The only problem was that at that time I already started casting and I really enjoy casting quite a lot and always did. So I had to make that choice if I really want to become a caster or professional player. And one of the problems that you have with trying to be both is that it doesn't really work out. Just because the tournaments that you want to cast are also the tournaments that you want to play. And it's just impossible to become a caster and at the same time also a professional player. The only thing that you can do maybe is every now and then jump in as an analyst if you are a player, but that's already about it. And also I have to admit that I think there's a couple of things missing from me or from my personal attitude when it comes to becoming a professional player. I think a professional player has to have a certain mindset when it comes to the gaming approach that I simply don't have. I'm too emotional going into games and that is definitely a downside. So if you are a player you need to be able to just like calm calmly analyze your losses, make sure that in every single situation you keep a cool head and that you're always trying to find for a way to come back into the game. And I personally find that pretty tricky. And I knew that back then already. I always had like a competitive streak to me and really am, I think, a competitive person, but it's not really in gaming. And that's really a part where I just said, all right, professional player in gaming and esports, maybe not quite my thing, but casting I enjoy quite a lot. I think I'm good at it. And so I should probably just try and pursue that path. Talking about casting, you might have wondered already where exactly I am. I'm currently even in Berlin. You can see Berlin in the background here because I've been attending WCA qualifiers for Heroes of the Storm, which was pretty cool actually. So I just casted the entire weekend together, or well not the weekend, but the last two days with that show. It great games with Fnatic, Team Liquid and Navi. It was really quite something. And just like events like this, just like even the smaller ones or the bigger ones, like the Dream Hacks, the IEMs and everything, that just shows me that I definitely made the right choice. I'm very, very very happy being a caster. It's an awesome job. I love it. I think I'm good at it. And of course, as a professional player, I might have had also a lot of fun, but I don't really think that in the long run I would have been able to just play at the competitive level because age, of course, is another issue that you at some point have. And as a caster, I definitely have a lot more fun and I enjoy it quite a lot. I've always been a person that is like really driven by the things that I do. I go all or nothing and in this case it's not only about the casting but it's also trying about like just keeping the scene alive, making sure that you produce content for the community for example, that you just help out the players in case of like invite tournaments and other things and just doing all that stuff in the background is something that I really enjoy as well and I don't really think that as a player I would have gotten the chance to do that. So I'm pretty happy with my choice. There was a, f a small moment where I really thought about like maybe trying to become a professional player but I think I'm Made the right choice here and so far I've never really regretted it. Once again, if you have any questions that you would like to ask me, anything that you would like to know, just drop a comment in the comment section on YouTube. I'm definitely going to record more videos like that. At least that's the plan. So if you want to know something, just let me know. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up on YouTube and I hope that you guys tune in for the next one as well here on Color TV. So have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.